click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends now i will solve one more problem based on crashing and this will be a easy version and let's try to just get more familiar with the whole concept of crashing i'll note down the problem first So we have a problem where we have near about six activities and we are given the normal time, crash time and the crash cost slope. आपको यहाँ पे ready made crash cost slope दे दिया है, तो हमको वो calculation करने का ज़रूरत नहीं है। We'll first make the diagram. We have one two two one two three. So one two two one two three. Then we have two two three two two four. So two two three, two two four. Then we have three two four and four two five. My normal time is one two two four. One two three is five. Two two three is seven. Two two four is three. Three two four is two. And four two five will be one. Now what are the alternate routes available and how I can work out the crashing? Let's see. Let's find the alternate routes. My first route will be 1, 2, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 4, 5 will be 4 plus 3 plus 1, 8. My other route will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It will be 4 plus 7, 11, 12, 13 plus 1, 14. And my third route will be 1, 3, 4, 5. It will be 5 plus 2, 7 plus 1, 8. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with a duration of 14 as the critical path and my normal cost is not given in the problem. If it is not given in the problem, we can simply ignore the calculation of normal cost. We can always work only on the calculation of crash cost. Since I am not given the normal cost, I will put a dash against it. I can't write nil as the normal cost because there will be at least some normal cost involved in the overall project and I'll add the crash cost. In the first case there won't be any crash cost. Since I don't have any indirect cost involved, I won't add any overhead cost or the indirect cost in the total cost. Now let's work out the crashing. My critical path is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4 and 4, 2, 5. 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4 and 4, 2, 5. So we have got 4 critical activities. 1, 2, 2 ka crash cost slope 20 rupees. 2 to 3 60 rupees 3 to 4 0 and 4 to 5 0 so we have 1 to 2 with the 20 rupees crash cost slope 2 to 3 60 rupees 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 we can't do any crashing because crashing is not available there so it is between 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 the cheaper one is 1 to 2 with the 20 rupees per unit of time so I'll crash 1 to 2 the second thing is by how many Duration I can crash 1 to 2. As per this table, may normal time say crash time matlab difference at 2 ka. Jabki as per this table, 14 ke baat next highest number is 8. So difference is 6. So 6 or 2. Whichever is 
less will be our crashing. So I will crash one to two by two days or two weeks or two hours. So crash one to two. Well, let us say two days. Let's assume these are days and these two are as days. So I'll crash one to two. Mera one to two first or second me aata hai. So it will become eight minus two six. And this will become fourteen minus two twelve. Mera third root same rahega eight. और हमने वन टू टू को दो दिन से कम किया क्रैश कॉस्ट सो पीस ट्वेंटी रुपीज पर डे सो दो दिन का आएगा क्रैश कॉस्ट ट्वेंटी इंटू टू फोर्टी रुपीज सो माई टोटल कॉस्ट विल बिकम फोर्टी नाउ अगेन आई हैव द क्रिटिकल पाथ विथ द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ ट्वेल्व डेज so we have already crashed one to two so i'll just cross out one to two i can't crash three to four and four to five since i can't crash three to four and four to five only when i cross kar diya this crossing indicates that this activities are fully crashed is crossing ka matlab in activities ko hum log aur crash nahi kar sakte to mere paas option is if two to three ka so 2 to 3 i can crash by maximum 7 to 5 matlab 2 days as per this table aur yahan par mere paas 12 ke baad next highest number is 8 inke beech mein difference hai 4 days ka so this table says 7 to 5 means 2 days ka crashing this table says 12 to 8 means 4 days ka crashing so i can crash by maximum 2 days whichever is less so crash Two to three by two days. So my first root same will be six. My last root same will be eight. And second root I will crash two to three by two days. So it will become twelve minus two ten days. And now my crash cost will be. 60 रुपीस पर डे तो फॉर टू डे इट विल बी 120 ट्वेंटी रुपीज मेरा पहले का कॉस्ट है फोर्टी रुपीज प्लस सिक्सटी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू वन ट्वेंटी सो माई टोटल क्रैश कॉस्ट विल बी वन सिक्सटी नाउ माई क्रिटिकल पास ड्यूरेशन इज टेन डेज एंड आई विल से I'll check whether further crashing is available or not. If you can observe, we have already crashed one to two. We have already crashed two to three, and three to four and four to five cannot be crashed. That means the critical path one to three four five is fully crashed. That means. Further crashing is not available, even though we want to do, but it is not available, and therefore we will stop the crashing here. I will write down. Critical path one, two, three, four, five is fully crashed. So. Further crashing is not possible. And what is my normal completion time? My normal completion time of the project is fourteen days. Whereas, what is my Minimum completion time ten days. Or fourteen days से ten days करने के लिए मैंने crash cost पे कितना खर्चा किया one sixty rupees. So I will say this is the additional cost of one sixty shall be incurred for completing the project in ten days. So additional cost. to complete 
in 10 days equals to 160 rupees so this was the much easier one than the previous one and we had to stop the crashing at one point because the critical path was fully crashed further crashing was not available so friends this was all about crashing so crashing is something that we'll learn at a later stage when we'll solve more problems or more examples based on this this was only the basic two examples just to explain you how to work out the crashing and this was the case when there was no overhead cost was involved so you can keep on crashing and after every stage your cost will increase rather than decrease because there is no savings in overhead cost. Thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe to our channel Ikira.